Well, here at the cash flow company, our whole goal is to make sure you have the right leverage to maximize your cash flow in real estate investing. Today, we're going to go over all the leverage you should have. That means you should have hard money, you should have bank financing, you should have hedge funds, and you should have real OPM. So we're going to dive into exactly why you need all these, where they fit, and how they're going to help you maximize your cash flow. So you as a real estate investor, you always should have multiple options for leverage because leverage is at least half of where you're going to make your money in real estate. So you have to have different options, one for speed. So if you find that great deal and it needs to close in five, six, seven days, you really need hard money. You need someone that you could call. They could close it without the appraisal, without all the headaches, without everything else. Really what real estate investing was meant for is having some hard money in your portfolio. Even if you are someone who is seasoned, we have people who do 20, 30, 40 deals a year and they still use hard money for one, two or three of those deals because they need to close quick. Their bank isn't ready. Maybe they've maxed out their line with their hedge fund. Whatever that is, you need hard money in there for speed. You need to be able to close something quick to capture that equity. And typically what you're gonna find out when you can close something fast, the amount you save will be a lot more in your pocket than what you pay out in hard money. Buyers typically don't like to see you know, extended closings if they're gonna give you a deal. They don't wanna see appraisals that may kick the deal out. They don't wanna see underwriting requirements that may kick them out. If they're going to give you a good deal, they want you to close quickly and they want you to close without all those other layers that come out that may kick your deal to the side and won't close for them. If they want a deal, they want to do it quick, you're going to need hard money as one of your lending options. So you're also going to need banks. You're going to need a banker who actually works with real estate investors because you need price. So hard money was for speed, banks for price. You're not going to get a better rate. You're probably not even going to get better closing costs than with a bank. There might be some limitations with bank, but one of them is not price. If you have something that you have the time to close, you take a little bit longer, maybe even the amount of work's gonna take you more than six, nine months. You want that price that you're getting from a bank because that's just more cash flow in your pocket. Typically what you're gonna see is on a bank compared to either a hedge fund or hard money, it's gonna be about half the interest rate. So you want someone like that, especially for the deals that you have the time to close and maybe that you're gonna carry it out a little bit longer than that six to nine months. So you're also gonna need someone who's flexible, someone who could fund across multiple states, has unlimited cash to do your flips or even your DSCRs. So you're gonna look more like for a capital company because there's a lot of investors who are now moving out of state or maybe their deals are getting larger. The one thing you're gonna find with hard money and even OPM, which we're gonna go through, is their funds are limited. So if you want someone that can handle every deal, you're gonna need one of those capital funds, one of those hedge funds to help you grow and take you across the state lines and, and get you to that next level. And last, you're also gonna need some private money, what we call real OPM. The reason for that is because you're gonna need someone to maybe help you with those gaps to help you with covering expenses or maybe just funding everything. When you find the real OPM, the real private person who's sitting on a couple hundred thousand dollars and they want to put that into something better than a bank that's paying them one or two percent and you can maybe give them five or six percent, you can see where that's a big benefit because if you know someone and you have a deal, it can provide speed. It can provide the price and it also can provide the flexibility. When you find the real OPM, that's really the gem of real estate investing, but you need them all because real OPM, once again, will run out of money because there's, there's a limit there or something may come up and they need to move money. You need the hard money, you need the banks, you need the hedge funds, and you need that real OPM. So to become a successful real estate investor and stay there, you need the proper leverage and you need all of these forms to do that. But you also need the proper lender because what you find out and what we see so many times when people like you come to us is they say, we've called our bank, we've called our lender and they've said this or they said that. And none of those things really make sense in the real estate lending world. And the biggest reason is they're going to the wrong lender. There are banks out there who don't focus on real estate investing. They may do car loans, they may do credit cards or they may do HELOCs, but they don't really want to or like to do real estate loans or there's big banks who just lend to 
the large corporations because they want money that's out there for a long time. That's the same thing with hard money and even the hedge funds. They're looking for a particular client and this deal may not fit their bucket. So you need to reach out. You need to find the lenders that actually fit your needs. But number one, when you're looking for them, you need to find lenders who want to work with the real estate investors. Not who may do a real estate lending loan every once in a while. You want someone who focuses on real estate lending because they're the ones who want your business. They will do everything you, they can to get your business and make sure you're in the best leverage you can to be successful in real estate investing. Please like this video, share it, help some other people get some information that they need to get the best leverage. Like we said, leverage is over half what real estate investing is about. The better the leverage, the better the cash flow, the better your lives. If you have any more questions, just reach out to us. We'll have our contact information below. We also have a great download. If you want just a little bit more information, who are the lenders out there? What do they do? What's their specialties? We'll put that link below. And as we always say, happy investing.